Beware tech shares. Well, that's the topic of a new journal piece. It says the FANG trade is losing its bite. Among the headwinds, slowing growth, rising costs, potential for more government oversight, and trade war risk. Joining us now to discuss the best moves for tech investors is Tim Lesko. He's principal at Granite Investment Advisors. Uh, good morning, Tim. I mean, add to that list, perhaps just, uh, you know, sometimes investor preferences changed. And uh, uh, sometimes the, the big winners on the way up in the, to the peak are not always the ones that, uh, that continue to do well. Now, that being said, FANG stocks, the NASDAQ holding its own. Has anything happened that's caused you to rethink some of the core holdings you have in these big tech stocks? I would say nothing significant cha has changed in the huge secular tailwind that many of these companies have. You know, I think you have to separate the fundamentals of companies, economic growth, from perhaps some areas where there's been overvaluation. And consumer sentiment, or, or call it investor sentiment, might change the valuation of a Netflix. Um, but most of the FANG stocks and across broader tech, you have a move towards more and more online advertising. They're basically advertising in media companies and they're very domestically focused. So as we watch this trade war go back and forth, really doesn't hurt those core technology companies. Certainly the device makers and some of the more cyclical areas of tech uh, you know, might be impacted. Well, yeah, so if you like advertising-based companies that are not participants in China, you'd go for Facebook and, and Alphabet, except that you have other issues in terms of exactly that advertising model and whether they're going to be able to uh, pursue it as profitably as they have in the future. Valuations have come down on those two for those reasons. So where does that leave you with those? Well, I think you're getting to perhaps maybe a, more, uh, a fairer valuation on the future stream of earnings from those kinds of companies. You're now or you're a full year and a half since Europe installed the kind of restrictions that we expect we're going to see here. And it really hasn't changed their European advertising growth. So even if we have economic slowdown, which we will every once in a while, it's not like these companies are carrying excess inventory or they have tremendously high costs. They're going to continue this secular move towards online advertising and just gain from the more traditional media outlets. Now, speaking of uh, device makers, as you mentioned, Apple yesterday had a pretty good day. Uh, street analysts basically saying that they're going to get uh, actually a break on component costs that is an offset to potential uh, tariff headwinds. And, uh, you know, it seems like uh, the market kind of embraced that view, at least for a day. But the stock does remain, you know, what, 10 percent below its, uh, its record high. So uh, what are you thinking in terms of Apple valuation-wise and then expectations for the uh, next generation of iPhone? <laughs> well, you, you can't pick a more sensitive company to everything that's going on with the trade war and global tensions and perhaps global economic slowdown. Than Apple, you have you know if you open up an Apple phone and try to figure out where all the components are coming from in a global supply chain, it's not that flexible a supply chain. So Apple really would like to see a you know a resolution to the China issues, um, but it's been trading at a reasonable valuation. They have a ton of cash, and they have the kind of margins domestically and internationally that they can soak up some of the increase that they might see in tariffs. And particularly, you know, certainly as, as currency changes have reduced component costs, that probably offsets it to a small degree. But Apple's got a very, very, very good supply chain management business. That's what Tim Cook did before he was CEO of Apple. So I don't think the world's really all that worried about Apple's ability to compete in whatever new world order we, we end up with. Yeah, it seems to be betting uh, that Cook can figure it out. Tim, thanks a lot.